Of course, a lot going on weather-wise. We're tracking two tropical systems that could be affecting southeast Texas. One down over Cuba, of course, that's Laura, and then another one right up into the northern part of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's Marco. Actually, Marco's bowed in right in here. You can notice all the convection, all the rain and thunderstorms off towards the north and east. It's dealing with wind shear right now, and we'll be dealing with wind shear over the next couple of days. So that's weakened the storm. So good news for parts of southeast Louisiana as it moves up in that direction as we go towards today. Right now, winds are down to 60, so at one point it was a hurricane. Now winds down to 60 and it's moving to the northwest at about 10. They're expecting it to skirt along the coast as we go through the next few days and eventually try to make its way over into uh, the coastal waters here of uh, southeast Texas. You notice it continues to weaken as it moves right along the coast into our area on Wednesday. Hopefully, if it can go a little bit farther inland, it'll even weaken more than that. We'll have to wait and see. It will bring us some scattered rain late Tuesday into Wednesday. And if it stays this strength with the, at least the hurricane center is showing, uh, we could see wind gust up around 30, maybe uh, 40 miles per hour as it kind of slides through the area. Uh, we'll have to wait and see the strength of it as it continues to move off towards the west. But uh, uh, Marco definitely going to be affecting us, not in the way Laura is going to be affecting us. Uh, right now, the computer models basically try to push it off towards the west, but they're all kind of all over the place thanks to it interacting with land and that wind shear. So computer models not handling that great. All right, here's Laura. Right now, winds are at 65. It is moving to the west northwest at 21 miles per hour over Cuba on Tuesday early in the morning, then out into the Gulf of Mexico. At this point, they have it coming into Cameron Parish just off towards our east sometime uh, maybe late Wednesday, early, early Thursday as a Category 2 hurricane with winds at 105 miles per hour. Good news is we're on the west side of the storm, which is uh, usually a little bit weaker side of the storm. Uh, most of the storm surge, or all of the storm surge is on the east side, the heavier rains, and also the stronger winds are usually on the east side of a hurricane. So. That doesn't mean we're not going to see hurricane force winds here in southeast Texas. It doesn't mean we're going to see a pretty good dose of some rain. But uh, definitely would rather be on the west side than the east side as this thing moves through. And the great news uh, also is that it's going to move through very quick. Once it comes in, it's going to continue to track off towards the north. So this will be a one-day deal. It's not going to be something we're going to have to deal with for three or four days like Harvey or Imelda. It's going to come through very quickly and then move off to the north very quickly as uh, we get into Friday into Saturday. Now we'll still see some rain both those days just with some of that moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, but we don't have to deal definitely with the heavy rains and the wind that it's going to bring as we head in towards late Wednesday into early on Thursday. Computer track on uh, Laura take it basically right into parts of southwest Louisiana. There are a few outliers from east to west, but uh, the main consensus is right across southwest Louisiana. I think they're getting a little bit better idea of where the track of Laura is going to go. So to kind of recap real quick, Tuesday into Wednesday, we'll see Marco over southeast Texas with some scattered showers, maybe some gusty winds. And then Wednesday, uh, late evening into Thursday morning, we will see Laura come through. And of course, that's going to bring us maybe some hurricane force winds and some heavy rainfall as it moves through. Uh, looks like by early uh, by Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, most of it should be out of here and traveling off towards the north. This is estimated rainfall over the next seven days. You notice the heavy stuff on the east side of Laura where they're expecting maybe over 10 inches of rain. Uh, as we get back into southeast Texas here, rain totals fall off as you get onto the west side of the storm. But these could definitely change depending on the track. If that track shifts more off towards the west, then we could see some of those heavier rains. Luckily, we've been pretty dry lately here, so we can take some rain. Horseman's Western Store, we're seeing currently 74 on our SkyCam network. Temperatures across the area, generally middle to lower 70s. And not much going on except for some scattered showers out in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, nothing over the immediate area as far as rain this morning. So you should get off to work okay. Partly cloudy, 30% coverage of a few scattered showers today. Northeastern winds at 5 to 15. Highs today will be in the middle 90s. And then back into the 70s tonight with a couple of showers, especially towards the coast. Seven-day forecast showing a red bar on Wednesday. That's when we'll see... Uh, uh, Marco getting out of here and then Laura coming in late Wednesday into Thursday. Wind, rain, we'll deal with that Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday, like I said, we'll still see some scattered rain around, but it won't be the heavy winds that we're going to be seeing with possibly the, 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 the tropical systems moving through the area. All right, and Jeff, if, if this stays kind of on track as we're seeing this morning, are you expecting some power outages? Uh, yeah, coming with these storms for sure. I think that's going to be a, a big deal uh, as far as the power outages. If it comes through as a category two, 
And we see those tropical storm force winds or maybe even hurricane force winds definitely going to see power outages uh, across not only southwest Louisiana, but here in southeast Texas as well. Yeah, and everybody knows the heat and humidity that we have right now, that would be no fun. Yeah, hopefully if we do see something like that, they can get the power up and going fairly quickly. You know, when these type of situations, they line up crews all sure. over the place and they're just waiting for the storm to leave so they can get in here. Mm -hmm. And in this case, this storm is going to be moving move through quick. So hopefully they can get in here quick after the storm and repair some of those outages on a fairly quick note. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff. Mm -hmm.